5.45 on Saturday morning, and I have work in a few, well, I'm going to leave in a few minutes. Um, it only takes me five minutes to get there. I'm so lucky I have work that's that that's this close to me, but I just don't want to go. I'm so tired. As you can see, I'm still in bed. I, I got out of bed a few minutes ago today. I went to the bathroom and uh, got dressed, but we just lay back down for a few minutes. And I'm just tired. So I don't know what we're doing today. Kelsey works until 2. All of this snow is like melted or something, but it's still below freezing. Yeah, your development's nice. Mine I don't get, all the snow in the roads. But on the main roads, there's no snow. Like on the grass, there's like no snow, but it's still below freezing, so why? It's what's, way below freezing. What's the deal? It's still like 20 degrees. <clears throat> I don't get what, like, why this is happening. Because they put so much salt, probably. Why? Oh, yeah, I forgot about the salt. We're taking a trip to Duncan! Dunkin' Donuts! <laughs> for some reason, donuts! <laughs> for some reason, I feel like I'm getting sick again. My lymph nodes are so swollen. My throat was sore a couple days ago. My throat's hurting. Not, I, I don't feel sick, I just... I have a cough still. Stupid cough. My throat's hurting too. I feel fine though. I think you just need some coffee. I think that's the cure for everything. Dunkin' Stop! Dunkin' Stop. Mm -hmm. Here's mm -hmm. our Dunkin'! Mm -hmm. Well, the side of it. Yes. It's Duncan style. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta find your Duncan card. Do you know which is on it? Um, no, but if there's not enough, then I have a couple dollar bills. Uh, it was ten dollars on there anyway. Yeah, and there's probably enough. How many times did we buy it since we had this? Like, I think like three. Three. There's ten on here. So how much is? Everything's been like a dollar six oh, yeah. because. There's gotta be. There's gotta be more on here. Mocha? Ice mocha? Yeah. Hi, can I help you? Can I have a small ice mocha coffee with cream and sugar? Small ice turbo cream and sugar? No. Small ice mocha coffee. Small ice mocha coffee with cream and sugar. Oh, a, a small ice coffee just cream and sugar? With mocha. With mocha, yeah. Mocha? Yeah. Okay, anything no, that's it. Okay, if these people mess up my order. Did you say turbo? I don't know what a turbo is, but. I've never even heard of that. You can always tell when the people are new. I've decided. I've decided that I like Starbucks coffee the best out of any of the stores. Here's two things that I'm craving one, Krabas. Two, breakfast food. <laughs> I no, I don't know why. Well, I know why I'm craving Carabas because I haven't had it in a while, but I don't know why I'm craving breakfast food. They don't even have that at Carabas. I, I'm craving anything that I can put in my stomach. But Carabas, it's just so good. Like, I feel bad for all the people who watch us that are in a different country and don't have Carabas. Well, unless if you live in Italy, then you have, like, the real deal, but... This the one real is deal. blinding me. Oh, but... I want chicken. Oh, I want like chicken marsala or something. Or, uh, or, oh no, I want chicken parmesan. I really want that. Don't you think that Danny looks really young now because he shaved his beard? Look at that chin. It's like a baby's bottom. <coughs> Let's show your butt chin. Ah, that's a walnut. A walnut? Danny and I have a um, thing that we say. Well, I think it's a butt chin, but Danny swears it's a cleft chin. John Travolta has a butt chin, according to him. He has a cleft chin. A butt chin looks like a butt. Yours looks like a butt. A butt has a has like a crack. In this light, Danny, in this light, it's perfect. You can really see it. I want a Schwinn like this with the little basket thing, but I want it in pink. How cute. Seriously, like they're the cutest bikes for the shore. What? I, I kind of like this one. For you? Me and, me and Kelsey are going to get bikes when we have a house, or maybe even when we have an apartment, so we could just, you know, ride around. For all the people who don't live near the shore or a beach and can't ride their bikes on the boardwalk, I feel so bad for you. It's so much fun. We are shopping at Target for 
goodies to send to our new friend Paula from the UK because mm -hmm. she has cancer and she just got on her chemo, so she's bedridden right now. So we're gonna send her some American. But nope, you can't see them goodies because Paula might see them too. <laughs> we're gonna send her some American goodies that she can try. That's her name, right, Paula? Paula, yeah. yeah. I'm sure she's not gonna like them though because first American all, food's kind of. First gross. of all, we don't really know what she. We don't know what you eat, so we're just kind of guessing. How cute are these? And these. Danny, our kids are gonna be dressed so nicely. Our kids are gonna be like, they're gonna look like fashion models all the time. Superstars. We're starving. We're in a predicament. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten any, neither of us have eaten anything yet today. <clears throat> as much as we would like to go out to eat, we're saving our money, so we're not gonna go out to eat. And we don't know where to eat. Even though I really want gravas. We don't know, I mean, where to eat as in what what house to eat at, my house or her house. We don't know what's going on at either house. We don't even know if either house is having dinner, so we might be screwed. We might starve to death. Where, where'd the dog go? Mm -hmm. I want chicken. I want some chicken and carrots. So we still haven't eaten dinner about three hours later. <clears throat> I am going to make an invention with chicken. And I don't know what else yet, but I'll figure it out. And I'll let you know how it turns out. Kelsey's wilting away to nothing. I made an invention. Buttered chicken. What do you think of that? I think it's gross. She's a little bit. Um. I think I think she's like half dead because she hasn't eaten all day. So she's kind of like melting into her into her chair. But anyway, I am cooking this chicken with butter and hot sauce and garlic, and I'm gonna see how it turns out. I've never tried this. Um, I got an idea online, but it's totally different than the thing I saw online, so it's basically my own invention. It turned out so good. Looks disgusting, but it's so, so good. I put some cheese in there, nice and melted. Mm -mm. So what are you doing for school? Oh, um, <coughs> sorry. Well, there are... There's a group of special needs kids that come in, like, I guess like an hour a day for, for 10 weeks during the semester. They come into the fitness lab in our department and um, they work out and they have people teaching them how to work out and stuff and teach them about nutrition. So I'm going to volunteer there and be like a personal trainer for the, the kid. I, I guess it's kids, I'm not sure. And I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to be doing, but um, tomorrow, I mean Monday, I have a meeting, an orientation for the volunteers, and I'll learn everything about what I'm going to be doing, so then I can share with you guys what I'm going to be doing. I think that's so exciting. I love people with special needs, so it's really exciting. Yeah, um, I, I never really done anything like this before, but it'll, it'll be a good experience, and it'll also help me with my with my major so I'm really used to special needs people I work with them all the time I think I have instilled a love for them in Danny now <laughs> I have a special place for anyone by the with way Down what, are, syndrome. what are you eating nothing I have a special place for people with Down syndrome in my heart that, that, that's that's her meal because um, she didn't want to eat the chicken that I made because it was old because she, she, it was a little bit old, but I mean, it's fine. But she, she gets a little bit worried about those kind of things. So I talked her into having breadsticks, because I was like, you know what? If you're not going to eat anything, you might as well at least have some breadsticks. You know, why not? Heck yeah. We are quickly approaching 1,000 subscribers. We're at, currently we're at 860. And Danny and I were just talking about different things that we can do to make it special for when we do hit a thousand. So if you guys have any ideas, just let us know what you think we could do or what you think would be cool. That's embarrassing.
<laughs> I don't know if the camera can see it, but I can see it from my angle. <laughs> Let us know what you think, though, and leave your ideas in the comments below so that we can read them, or you can Instagram me or tweet me or write on our Facebook. All that information is down below, too. Or come find us. Or come find us in New Jersey. Holla at you, boy. <laughs> I think this is so cute. Here we go again with Kelsey trying to buy stuff that we don't have the money for. No, I don't want to buy it. Well, I do want to buy it, but I'm not going to. But isn't this so cute for Target? Like, that's super cute. It looks like boring to me. No, it's what? It, look, it matches my athletic pants. It does match, but you're not going <coughs> to... I have to get it so I can match my outfit. <laughs> <coughs> I need to know if anyone has used this because I feel like I would poke my eyeball out. Is that a crayon? No. No, that looks like a colored pencil. It's eyeliner, but it's so thick. It's huge. I've never seen anything like this. Like, that's so weird. It looks like the pencils I had, uh, the charcoal pencils I had for, oh. for drawing class. That's what it looks like. <laughs> I like this color. Don't hate me cuz. This is cute. I want that. She can't get it. It's not Essie. She needs Essie. What do people think would be a good lipstick for me? If you have a specific color, let me know. Like a specific name and brand. Because I kind of want a new lipstick color to spice oh, things oh, up. Oh, here's the color of her lips if you need to know. <laughs> It's a wiener, dog. That's huge. It's such a cutie. Can you imagine Bella playing with this? Ew. <coughs> I would How about that yellow this. one down there? What? I would never eat this. What is that? Is that marshmallow? Yeah, I hate marshmallows. I would love that. I, I always loved the, the uh, what are they, the peeps. peeps. I always love this. Peeps are disgusting. Who loves peeps? They're gross. And who doesn't know what peeps are? Because they're delicious, especially if you microwave them. Have like you ever microwaved them? No, me, no, before the, you do it, you like... Me and M blew one up once. I know, I have before too. No, I think they're disgusting. But if you if you microwave them and then let them cool, they get the, the sugar part on the outside gets like hardened. And it's like chewy and it's so good. Ew. No, it's, it's so good. It's, it really is. That's like, disgusting to me. Back, back in my cavity days, I, I would eat probably a whole box of this. I got my first cavity when I was 18, and it wasn't even a cavity yet. They said it might become a cavity. Danny had cavities when he was little. And what what kind of tooth had a did you have a cavity on when you were 18? My molar. Yeah. Guess what kind of tooth I had my cavities on. Baby teeth. Baby teeth. So guess what? I don't have any cavities anymore. And guess what? Baby teeth are weaker than adult teeth. And guess what? That's my parents' fault because I was too little to know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was my fault, but who cares? Who's ready for Super Bowl Sunday? I am. I'm ready I don't for watch. The win. Yeah, I don't watch football, and I don't like the commercials really. I just care about the food, the wings, and pizza, and chips, and dips. Don't, don't do that in front of the camera. What are you? <laughs> It's not drugs, it's Tic Tac. <laughs> those are your drugs. Give me some of those. It's good. Okay. I have a question for everyone. Do you... Okay, I personally... I don't know if it's because I'm engaged and I'm just like always thinking about weddings and like getting married and stuff, but do you look at people's fingers to see if they're married? Because I'm a cashier sometimes and like I do different things at work, but um, I always look at people's fingers to see if they're married. And I just assume if they're not wearing a ring that they're not married. Like I don't understand why people will go out without wearing their wedding ring and not just men either like a lot of women they'll say like someone will be like oh yeah my husband and I'm like oh I didn't think you were married because you weren't wearing a ring I understand that um for work you might not be able to wear it sometimes or whatever but I don't think I'm gonna ever want to take my ring off even like even just like my wedding band I don't know like why do you spend the money on it if you're not gonna wear it and why do you make the commitment 
if you don't want to show it to people. I want to take my gel manicure off. I want to paint my nails. I can never handle keeping a color for like longer than a week or so. Ew, Danny's eating something really, it looks really disgusting. Like, ugh. It's cheese, butter, hot sauce, and chicken. <sighs> what do you guys think of the intro? I mean, outro, the new outro. Kelsey's brother wrote that song on a program, a computer program. And it's pretty cool. He let us use it. So, we just want to know. Thank you, you Matthew. Thank you, Matthew. What do you guys think about it? Do you like the old one better or do you like this one? What do you think? See, my bracelet, my Tiffany's bracelet. I'm a Tiffany's girl. I'm obsessed with everything Tiffany's. If Tiffany's made it, I love it, basically. And we're naming our son Tiffany. We're naming our daughter <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> Actually, I only own two things that are Tiffany's. <laughs> I'm wearing them both right now. This, Return to Tiffany's. I got that when I graduated high school from my parents. And this, which Danny bought me for Christmas this year. Close your eyes. Open your mouth. <laughs> it was dropped it. We have so much to do. Yeah. For the wedding? Yes. Um, I was just sitting here thinking it's been like two weeks and I haven't done one thing like involving We did a lot wedding. this week. I mean, we not this week. We did a lot this um, between Christmas and now. When do you suggest we go and <coughs> figure out what kind of cake we want and stuff? Because we, in our package at our um, venue, it's in, like the bakery is included. So we already know who's doing it. Um, it's a bakery in Philadelphia. But we have to go and pick out our cake and like how it's going to look and the flavors and blah 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 so i don't know like i want to go there because they have the best cannolis you and your sweets well it's like they've been voted best they've been voted best cannoli we love cannolis oh no i never had a better cannoli than let it shop right honestly no that place um in peddler's village oh uh, no that was an authentic cannoli yeah you're right danny I've never had one better than this place we had it in Peddler's Village. I'm gonna look on Peddler's Village schedule because they have like things going on sometimes, but I think we should go during spring break. It's the middle of March. Peddler's Village. It's the middle of March. Me and you can like schedule a day to go there. <coughs> Peddler's Village is so fun. And we'll bring you guys. Maybe we could do a meetup if anyone lives near there. Oh does, yeah. Does anyone live in Pennsylvania near Peddler's Village? It's in Pennsylvania, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like right across from Trenton. Yeah, it's like it's like right across from New Jersey, guys. I love it there though, because there's like it's so many different kinds of stores and like restaurants, and like you spend all day there, so it's perfect. It's that time of the night. Yes, it is. We have church tomorrow. Woohoo! Danny and I, when we go to church, we go for like so long. We'll go there from. Uh, about 10 o'clock till like 1. Well, it used to be longer when we went to the, the Yeah, first there's service. an earlier service that we used to get. We used to go to the 8.15 <coughs> service. <coughs> then I am a one-on-one -on -one with a girl in the Sunday school class. And then there's a young adult service that we would go to when Danny plays the drums for. So we'd be there from like 8 in the morning until like 1 in the afternoon. But we don't go to the early service anymore. But we have church. And yeah. Good night. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow.